in my role, um, I work in mission control, running hundreds of different experiments and engineering on the International Space Station um, to benefit our lives back on Earth. Yeah, so Mission Control, it's not just Houston like the movies. There's Houston and Huntsville in the US. Um, there's Moscow in Russia, Scuba in Japan, and uh, Munich in Europe, uh, which is actually Munich, Cologne, and seven other countries. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, you know, if you're upstairs or across the ocean these days, because we're all very well connected um, and we communicate constantly and we're on synchronized um, operating systems as well to support each other on and off Earth. So we do that in... Um, shifts that cover 24-7 uh, operations and uh, we run on GMT which is a convenient time zone where I'm working in Europe because it's only one or two hours difference um, but it does mean you know the night shifts in Japan and, and the US are the busiest uh, but we have three different shifts across the day um, morning and afternoon and evening and we're on this synchronized uh, time with GMT um, that we use in mission control and the International Space Station. Uh, yeah, no, I was certainly um, dreamed on working in something in space like Star Trek uh, and the International Stage Space Station project is the closest thing that we have to Starfleet. Um, so we've got all the different countries working together to advance humanity and uh, it's even better from the inside than I thought it was from the outside. So it's, it's such a wonderful project to be able to be a part of. Yeah, so I've been at Mission Control in Belgium and in Germany as well, um, as well as assisting, of course, in Houston and, and Moscow and other places uh, for 10 years now, uh, primarily with shifts the last seven years um, in Germany. So uh, it's been a really good privilege. And uh, as mentioned, just being able to work with all of the different countries and flight controllers around the world. Um, we speak our own brand of nerd I feel like so even when you meet people from other mission controls you've just got this instant connection uh, right away and it's really wonderful to be able to work on um, you know just really cutting edge science and engineering with people from such different backgrounds uh, all across the globe and off earth of course with the astronauts on the space station. Uh, so in my previous role, I was a specialist on uh, solar experiments and um, robotics. Uh, so I was particularly following those when I was in Belgium. And um, now since about seven years, um, I'm a generalist on all of the different experiments. So I am the one who's interfacing between the astronauts and mission control for honestly hundreds of different experiments across all the fields because we have four different laboratories constantly running um, different things uh, on the space station. Uh, the whole thing's you know about the size of a five bedroom house and about four bedrooms worth are uh, science laboratories that have so many different um, experiment racks and standalone platforms um, inside as well as we've got different experiments outside as well. So we're really uh, running one of the most advanced um, multifaceted you know set of science laboratories um, orbiting around earth and there's a lot of things that are really unique to microgravity um, that you can only do up there as well to then be able to bring back and, and uh, benefit our lives back on earth uh, yeah i think it happened um, there's a lot of people you know that inspired me over the years from from CSIRO, um, from the space school teachers, uh, the real life scientists and engineers that I met for the first time, um, fictional characters on Star Trek, not going to lie, quite inspiring. Um, so yeah, on the side, I've always done a lot of vol volunteering and trying to give back to that um, and created, you know, thousands of different opportunities for Australians to be able to do things at home as well as abroad. Um, and uh, space Primarily, it's all about satellites. Uh, so I might work on the coolest one, but it's um, you know it's mostly about satellite data. Uh, and Australians are you know 100% dependent on satellite data for our everyday lives, for you know the the weather, GPS, um, banking, uh, every FPOS transaction that you do, live sport, live news, uh, remote outback internet, uh, the surf report. Um, bushfire protection, environmental monitoring, flood monitoring, you know, all of this is space. And really for Australia, it's about, um, you know, enabling what we need and providing um, the, all of these things for daily life, but better and cheaper using satellites. 
So I think um, to work in the space industry now, you don't have to go, there's a lot of opportunities overseas, but you also don't have to go overseas. So you can do a combination of overseas and at home. You don't have to, and that's not the only option like it was for myself and others in the past. Uh, now that we have the Australian Space Agency at home, we've got lots of opportunities around all of the states in Australia, plus Australians, of course, are very welcome overseas um, to contribute to the industry, and we have a lot of amazing Australians doing that. I think you can pick any engineering, any science, any maths, any technology, manufacturing, um, finance, business, graphic design, IT, law, education, all of these different fields are needed in the space industry. So, you know, go with what you're passionate about and you can turn almost any career that you are in into um, a stellar space career as well on the side. And you don't have to uh, look too far anymore because there are amazing opportunities uh, all around Australia. Yeah, so I'm curious to understand uh, the world around us and all the different cultures and languages and technology. Um, and I'm motivated to really, you know, bring uh, microgravity research back to benefit us on Earth and also to make our lives a bit more like Star Trek. Oh, really? Oh, no way. Huh? Cool. I didn't know that. Thanks. Okay. Oh, spring that on me. <laughs> cool. Okay. Because I was reading the others as well and I sent it to my best friend. I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, I don't know. They're all pretty great. I'm like, I know. <laughs> like, no, it's really cool to read everybody's stories because honestly, you just manage to pick like such amazing people. I'm reading them and I'm just such in awe of everybody. Yeah.